the sides, getting your core working to stitch everything back together, gather everything back together, and also engage pelvic floor. We'll come back to that lateral breath again as well. It's a grounding practice. It's mainly on the ground, so you should feel grounded and centered. So let's let's try it out. We're gonna lay down under us on our backs first. I have my little friend's big yoga blanket underneath me. You can get yourself all nice and organized. And take a few rounds of breath just to settle in to you. See how you're feeling today. You can have your hands on your ribs. So again, cultivate that three-dimensional breathing. That lateral thoracic breath is really beneficial to knit belly back in. And remember, it's deep. Ribs should feel like they're moving out to the side. And on the exhale, they're coming down and in. So you can stay here for as long as you like. That alone is great. We'll start with a couple pelvic tilts. On your exhale, we'll tilt pelvis back. On your inhale, pelvis will come forward. Exhale, pelvis floor lifts. Inhale to let go. Make sure that you're not gripping through the glutes. Pelvic floor is lifting, so it shouldn't feel, you shouldn't feel any activation through the glutes. So you can do as many of those as you like. For some of us, it feels really good on our low back, so talk to that. You'll get nice and long for like a crescent stretch. So you can reach over to the left. Right ankle crosses left. And your left fingertips can hold on to the right. And I want you to focus on those right ribs opening up. Left waistline is trying to cinch in towards navel. You can stay here for as long as you like. You can inhale to come back to center, unwind, take a pause before you take an exhale to create a crescent shape. Your left foot can cross right ankle. Your right fingertips can reach left. Fingertips over. And feel like your whole left side body is getting a lovely stretch. You might notice a difference in your sides. This is the side I hold my toddler on, so it's much tighter than the other side. And then you can come back, inhale to come back. Bridging. So if you can be on the floor, arms beside you. In Pilates bridging, we want pubic bone and uh, tip of the sternum to be aligned. So as you inhale, you can lift. Try to find that gathering in. And then on your exhale, slowly lower. You can do fun little arm things, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, a couple more of those. So from there, you can roll over. 
over to your side. Come back up. Cat cow. Inhale, open. Exhale. And remember, cat cow can be non-linear, so you can go exhale here, inhale, exhale here, inhale, kind of get into that side bend. That could feel yummy. They're feeling really yummy for me today. Uh, and all those little yummy wiggles, okay? Then you can go into low lunge, so you can walk your right foot forward, you can reach in and back, taking pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale, and then you can walk up, exhale to come up, and inhale, and exhale, and then come back. So a few times there. And then you can switch sides. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. When you feel about even on your side, then you can use that exhale to walk up. And then inhale. Use your exhale to lift the knees. Inhale, tap. The smaller you go, the more heated it can get. So inhale to prepare. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. They're not big, but they're really powerful. And then from there, you can wiggle. And then from there, you can reach right leg back. You can tuck the toes for a nice calf stretch. Left arm can be in front of you, so that can be a good modification. Or you can use exhale, lift into your bird dog. So play around with flexion in there, toe pointing, and you can flex. Belly bend. And then you can bring it back. Set yourself up for the other side without like moving to the right and left too much. So lie that left foot back, get that calf stretch, breathe there. Use your exhale, lift, point and flex, belly in to support your low back. You could find a flow if you're feeling really balanced through your side. You can inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. You can do a child's pose to stretch your low back. And come back up. So as you're in the quadruped position, remember you can always go on your forearms if you have some tenderness in your wrist. Inhale, fire hydrant. Exhale, drop. You don't have to be big. You should feel your opposite waistline. About six on one side. And then you can do six on the other. I like a flexed foot so I can feel that side of the glute really activate. Softness in the elbows, creases as the elbows can face one another. Make sure you're grounding down through the knuckles of the fingers so you're not aggravating the wrist. Maybe one or two more. Good. You can do any wiggle. Child's pose, the inhale, child's pose, and an exhale can feel nice for the low back. Then you got these lovely front ones. You can roll.
roll down back onto your back. You can reach nice and long, get super, super long without using hands or feet. So, use your, so we're gonna use our exhale to lift and then we're gonna try to roll over. So exhale. So you can do a couple of those. Those are nice and powerful. And then from there, and then, oh, and you just keep on rolling. That one's a fun one, and it got my crossfitter husband uh, when I was when I just had my baby, and I was able to like roll all over the um, room, so it really helps my ego. Um, I hope you enjoy. It can be quick, it can be a 10 minute practice, and it can still have really good benefits um, to our belly, pelvic floor, and our hips and our spine, um, and that's what we're looking for. So like little sprinkles throughout the day, it does not have to be an hour long practice to, if you can do a sprinkles every day, that will accumulate uh, to a lot. So be kind out there. Talk to you later.